Chase Debt Recovery are well known for sending multiple letters and making numerous calls when chasing debts. Like all debt collectors, they're not immune to occasionally stepping over the line or being a bit tough to deal with. But that doesn't mean that you can't get on top of your debt and stop Trace Debt Recovery chasing you. First things first, Trace Debt Recovery is a legitimate company. They're not a scam, they're not cowboys, but it doesn't mean it's going to be all sunshine and rainbows dealing with them. Whenever any debt collector contacts you, the first thing that you want to make sure is that you can prove the debt's yours to pay. The burden of proof is on them and not you. So be ready to ask them to prove that you owe the debt. That should keep them off your back for a little while while you have time to work out how to move forward. If the debt is yours, then the simplest solution is to work out how to pay it. Agreeing a method to start paying back will normally keep Trace Debt Recovery from contacting you. That's assuming that you stick to your agreement. Sadly, that's easier said than done, especially if you didn't know you had the debt in the first place. Luckily, you don't always have to pay all the debt back. If you're struggling financially, then there are options out there that could help. While these solutions aren't all suitable for everyone, you might find one or two could work well for you. I'll run through them quickly here. First up, debt management plans. They're an informal agreement that you make with the creditors to pay back your debts at a lower and more affordable rate. Normally that means paying less each month, but over a longer time frame. The catch is that you can't include all of your debts in a debt management plan. So credit card debt, personal loans, and an overdraft, they can all go in, but court fines and mortgages sadly can't be part of it. Next, there's debt relief orders. They freeze your debt payments for a full year. And then if your situation hasn't changed after 12 months, the debt's written off. You make no payments towards a debt in 12 months and interest isn't added. Pretty good, right? Sadly, debt relief orders have a strict eligibility criteria. For example, you can't own anything of significant value like a house and you can't have more than £2,000 in savings. Another option is offering a final settlement. If you happen to have access to a large lump sum, you can offer that to Trace Debt Recovery or the creditors you work for. It might not be the full amount that you owe, but sometimes they'll be willing to write off the remaining debt because you'll be saving them the time chasing you down for payments each month. Unfortunately, getting your final settlement offer agreed might not be that simple and Trace Debt Recovery or your creditor could simply refuse. Individual voluntary arrangements are another way to deal with Trace Debt Recovery. It's a formal agreement between you and your creditors to reduce your payments to one simple payment each month. It lasts for five years and at the end, any remaining debts written off. Again, like with all these options or catches, IBAs are legally binding, so you'll need to keep up with the terms that you agree to. Otherwise, you could be back to square one with Trace Debt Recovery. But all the time it's in place, you shouldn't hear from Trace Debt Recovery. Bankruptcy is probably the most famous option. You may already know, but with bankruptcy, all your assets are reviewed and some may be sold off to pay back your debt. After a year, any remaining debt will be written off. Alike with an IBA, during your year of bankruptcy, you shouldn't hear from Trace Debt Recovery. Of course, bankruptcies have some obvious downsides, mainly that some of your belongings may be sold to pay for your debt and your credit score will become very low. Paying back your debts, whether in full or using a method that I mentioned earlier, will ensure that you keep Trace Debt Recovery at bay. Unfortunately, you can't just ignore them. They're likely to be persistent, which could make matters a lot worse. Trace Debt Recovery can take court action against you if you ignore the letters. This could lead to a county court judgment, which will have a really negative impact on your credit rating, making it tough to get credit cards, loans, mortgages. If you don't pay your judgment, bailiffs could come to your house. Luckily, it doesn't have to get that far if you act now. One simple step that you could take today is to find out if any of the debt solutions that I mentioned could work for you. In the description of this video, I've linked to a form on my new website. It's got a few multiple choice questions like, how much debt do you owe and how many people do you owe? At the end of the form, it'll connect you to a company that I've partnered with to provide you with all the information you need about debt solutions that are available. Click the link in the description, go and check it out and let me know how you get on.